You're alive. Hey y'all, it's Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks and tonight we're making supper. It's just on the fly. All right, so I uh, got out the stuff I thought I needed for my pie and I don't even need the butter, but we're gonna throw it together right quick. The girls are here. They came home tonight because we started doing some Christmas decorations and they wanted to help with the tree. So we are going to start with a peanut butter pie. We're gonna get it in the refrigerator while we cook our supper. We're having a very simple supper. This is an eight ounce block of cream cheese. We're gonna get it in the mixer and add a half a cup of sugar. And Chris, don't have it turned on. Do we have a drop cord down here? Maybe. We have to run a drop cord, y'all, out to the bar. We've got to hire somebody to come out here and put me in a power cord. I mean, not a power cord, a plug-in, and we just ain't done it yet. So, I mean, to get out like a decent-looking wash rag for y'all in a hat. This is real life. All right, so we're going to turn this on. Put in some sugar. Friday night on the fly. Friday night on the fly. This is what the girls requested. Yeah, this They're is all, one of their favorite things. This is their request night. Since they're here from college. Peanut butter. Woo, we got a fresh thing of peanut butter, y'all. Granny green beans. We're gonna have chip green, chip beef over toast. You know, chip beef and gravy over toast. That's one of their favorite things to eat. Now they love it. And I thought I got it in my third cookbook, and I did. And I had to look it up and print it out uh, to make it for them tonight. You'd think I'd know it by heart, but I don't. I've made it quite often since I started making it. I made it for the show. And the kids love it so much. We have it. Almost every time they come home, if they're home for a few days, they ask for it. They love it. And everybody loves the pie. Yes. We're going to put in about a, a heaping scoop of cool beer. And then I'm going to scrape it again. I do have a paddle that I don't have to scrape. I make the biggest mess when I could. And, um, but it's even it's even noisier than this thing is without it, so I don't use it. That's good. Do you like the mixer? I better, love this mixer. Better than your kitchen. Yes, bed. I do. It's really light. It's lightweight. It's real easy for me to move back and forth. It's got plenty of power. Actually, I think it's 800 horsepower instead of the 600. Not horsepower. 
Well, whatever it's so called. The motor would be horsepower. Chris, what well, is it then? Watts. What? <laughs> That'd be a race car. I think. He always gets on to me for everything I say. I always say things wrong. All right. That's just part of being country and ain't never been nowhere, right? All right, here we go. Olive oil goes in my beans. Yes, olive oil. That's what I like. A little sugar. Tablespoon. This is a big can. Show them this can of green beans. So I, I cook it just like I do my three can recipe. If you're wondering. Look who told it. If you're wondering. I did not drop my tablespoon, just the smaller ones. I didn't have them in my hand. Oh, I thought they were tied together and they weren't. All right, there goes the sugar in. The sugar's what makes that caramelized, so you don't want to leave that out. Once all this water comes out, you got to cook these all the way down to where there's no water left in them. I'm making them in a skillet because um, I wanted them to cook down quicker, and the more surface area you got, the quicker they're going to lose their juice. We're making potatoes back here on the back. The girls peeled them for me and got them going before we came on here. They tend to work. You know what? What? Those need a little water in them. I don't like lumpy potatoes, y'all. And this is a live video, so we're gonna be on here for a few minutes. All right. So we're gonna get this into our pie crust. You're gonna use an Oreo pie crust. And let me say this, if you can't get Oreo, order it on Amazon because the pie just cannot be beat with Oreo. If you buy the Keebler or any other brand um, of crust that's chocolate, it don't even compare to how good it is in an Oreo crust. So it's not my chocolate peanut butter pie unless you got an Oreo crust. All right, so here we go. We're gonna get this in here. If you can't get one for real, you can get one on Amazon. For real, for real. Let me get me a thing. This is how I really cook. You know, my show was supposed to be about teaching people how to cook like mama did, not like a cooking show and you got everything laid out and ready. My mama never did. My mama would make desserts while she was making supper, just like I'm doing tonight. And if y'all think that y'all should see my mama in the kitchen. My mother was so unorganized. Oh my Lord, was she? She was a great cook. But she never knew where anything was. She never put anything back in the same spot. I do at least do that, unless the kids put something up or Chris, and I don't know where it is. I have places I like for things to go. So you just take the filling, put it in this Oreo crust, and now we're going to top it with Cool Whip. And I use a bag and do it so it'll be pretty. And then I put, I always save a bite for me to eat later. Always. And then I've got a bag with a tip in it, and we're just going to put a pretty border on it and get it in the refrigerator, and we'll eat it for dessert after we eat our supper tonight. Our refrigerator's really cold, the one in there in the laundry room, so I'll put it in that one. Hopefully y'all can see good tonight. And we're having such an easy supper tonight. I was like, we could make a dessert during supper. I think I got some tiny ones. Yeah, 
out in here. Now, how fast is that, y'all, for a dessert? And I'm telling you, it's delicious. Make sure you get that Oreo crust, though. I'm going to sit it in this refrigerator. All right. We'll check out the beans while she's in there. Cooking down. Hey, bud. She's going to put the gravy in there. And she makes it. We got a little bit of time, don't we? Mm -hmm. Waiting on those beans. Oh, that's my favorite pie in the world. This is really one of my very favorite pies. I love it. Woo, it's so good, y'all. It's so simple. Pile everything up. That's what you got a dishwasher for, right? Now, y'all, for our chip beef and gravy, we're going to melt a stick of butter in the skillet. I'm going to go ahead and put it on low and put my butter in there and let it start melting while I'm picking up my mess. And you want them beans to cook all the way down where they don't have any juice left in them for them to be truly granny green beans. And I'm telling you, if you make my granny green beans, you're going to be amazed at how good they are without any meat, bullion, or anything in them. And yes, you use the juice from the green beans. Boy, are they good. They're so good. All right. Yeah, look how lightweight this mixer is. This is why I like it so much. And yeah, it costs a lot. And I'll be honest with you, if I didn't have this show, I wouldn't have this mixer. I wouldn't be able to afford it. But if you can afford one, or you want one for Christmas, I don't even know if they're still on back order or not, but y'all can look it up. But see how much lighter that is than the KitchenAid? So I can, I can move it around easier. Yeah, there's a reason everybody always keeps their kitchen aids right there on the counter in the same spot all the time because yeah. they're heavy. Yeah, they are. Got some extra cool whip. What'd you do with the lid to my cool whip? Did I do something with it or uh, I don't know. That's your leftover bowl, right? Mm -hmm. I got extra butter. I got it out for the pie and didn't need it. I got this out for the pie. I'm just going to stick all this stuff back where it goes. And then we're going to make our gravy because our butter will be melted. And I'm just melting the butter on a, on a slow temperature. Did we put that sugar in the pie? Yes, I did, honey. That was the first oh. thing I did. All right. I just don't remember. Yeah. I'm videoing. I can't remember. Yeah. I've got to make bows for these. If you want to see how I did these, we got these at uh, Michael's or somewhere. Yeah, I think we got Hobby Lobby. I Which think, one? I think we got those at Hobby Lobby. And just use masking Lobby. tape on the back. See that? Mm -hmm. Masking tape. And I'm going to make some little bows. I just use a staple gun and staple it here. And I'm going to use make some little bows to go here. If you're wondering. I'll show y'all around while we're waiting on supper. Give us something to do. I don't always show y'all YouTubers around the house. So I might show y'all a few things today. Tonight. Tonight, happy Friday. We got our nuts out. Everybody needs to make sure they go to the store and buy nuts and get out a nutcracker. Why? Because it's a tradition at Christmas for everybody to be able to eat nuts and crack them and eat them. It's good. And it's just an old-fashioned way of doing stuff. So I like to have them. Why? Because they were around when I was a kid. And so I still like to do that. I don't know what that is. That must be cream cheese we left out. Spilt some cream cheese, y'all. All right. Now for our gravy. For our green beans, you can see they're starting to cook down. They still got juice in them, but they're starting to get less in there. And we're going to let them cook down to they sizzle. We're done with this oil, so we'll put it up. 
are going to need salt and pepper. Okay, we got a stick of butter in here melting to make our gravy. And it's still not melted, so we're going to run in here and we're going to make creamed potatoes. Let me get out my mixer, too. If you want to, Chris, you can walk them in here and let them see what I've done so far. All right. She's been decorating today for Christmas for uh, in the kitchen and in the living room and just throughout the house. So she's been busy doing that. I'm sure a lot of this stuff she'll change or move around when she starts getting some other things. We have a couple of places we're going to, since we've moved in this house, that we're going to have to uh, get some stuff for. But you can see she's well on her way. Pulled all the stuff down off the shelves in the garage. Put up new curtains. It's got all her knickknacks out. The tree up yet. Those are not new curtains. I hung them up today. They're not new. Um, everything in here mostly is was my mother's or it was given to me by Chris's mother. Because before we started Colored Valley Cooks, I never had extra money to spend on Christmas. So every year, Chris's mother would get me something for to decorate with for Christmas, and then I would get stuff. But me and Chris bought a few things new this year. We bought this because of the mantle we have here. Got it at Sam's Club, so it was a deal. And we got the bows. But everything else just about you see, we already had. The curtains were from last year. And a lot of the stuff is actually pretty old. I don't know if y'all have one of these, but this thing's ancient. I can't plug you, yeah, I can't plug him in because I've already got stuff plugged in. He moves around. Does it still work? Yeah, he still works. He's dirty, but he still works. Hmm. Mama didn't always have him in the best of places. You know, you know, sealed up. Chris's mother's looks real clean. Mama's did it. But anyway, we got a lot going on. I still got all this to fix over here, but it's exciting. Exciting. I always smash my beans a little bit to make them look like they come out of a, you know, like a real jar, like a canned jar of beans. When I get done with my beans, people don't have a clue that they're out of a can. They think that they were canned from the garden. And that's all I do to them. All right, here we go. We're going to turn this up and make our gravy. And while we're starting this, Chris, I'm going to reach over here and turn this toast on. So I slice it really thin myself, and chip beef is salty, and a lot of people uh, rinse it, but I don't. I just don't put any salt in my gravy. We like it. And you don't have to hardly put any salt in your cream potatoes either, because this is so salty that you just don't have to. So we toast the toast. We uh, cream the potatoes, and we serve this over the toast and cream potatoes. Now, this is just a white gravy. Um, and I need to make white gravy for y'all. I might do breakfast too soon because my kids like white gravy the way Mama made it. 
better than how I've been making it for Chris. I'm rolling this. That's it. I'm supposed to put in a half cup. Got to burn my butter, y'all. Half cup of butter, half cup of flour. I'm going to put a little bit to grow on. Because I can. Looks pretty runny to me. You want it to be kind of puffy. Salt. Well, I'm not going to put salt, just pepper. All right, we need to work those green beans. It's this one. And that's what you want them to do. They're ready. Now, what they do is they form a little bit of a glaze that sticks to the sides of the pan if you really want them to be good. I mean, you don't have to do this, but it's smart to take you just a little bit of water. Not a lot. Just a little bit. And then rub them green beans around in that water and around the sides, and that way they get all that good stuff off the side, and that glaze gets back into the beans. It's like deglazing the pan, believe it or not, for beans, but it works. Okay, now this is getting a little bit brown, which is what you want it to do. We're going to put a little bit of beef bouillon in this water that I got right here. And I'm going to add about a half, it's about two and a half cups of water, and we're going to add about a half cup of evaporated milk to it. To make our gravy. And we're also going to put in a little bit of uh, parsley to make it pretty as well. And that's good and brown. So we're going to add this. Going to add a little parsley to it. I'm going to put just a little bit of milk in it. So it's starting to get a little thick. Now we're going to throw in our chip beef. And I'm going to turn it off. For my liking. And then we're going to cream our potatoes. And if it looks like it's a little too thick for your liking, you want it to be thick, but you don't want it to be so thick it, you could cut it, you know. Just add a little water to it, broth, milk, whatever you want to do. Stir it up and get it just right. It's perfect. Is that bread getting done? Uh, on the top, no, not yet. All right, and now we're going <coughs> to cream these potatoes. Then we're going to make a plate. Mm. Let me turn them off so they don't get that too brown. Let me hop out of the way just for a second. Let me clean up my mess. I clean as I go. It just drives me crazy if I don't. I'll use this in my coffee. I love canned milk in my coffee. And now that I open that beef, uh, this little cup is like a little juice glass. Let me show them that. Some people are okay. asking. That's what we used. Yeah. Oh, 
right, we're gonna make these cream potatoes right quick. I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. This is where I keep my flour. Plain flour, self-rising, cornmeal mix, self-rising cornmeal milk mix, and um, biscuit mix is what I like to use in there. All right, now that toast is... Is it about right? right? Yeah, well, it's only got 34 seconds. Yeah, so. that thing is perfect. When yeah. it does toast, it's perfect. I don't have to watch it. It always does just right. Now, I didn't put salt in this because that beef is so salty. And I'm not going to put salt in this, but I do use salted butter. So I'm just going to drain this. And I sit it right here in the sink like Mama always did. And that way it won't splatter the whole kitchen when I go to mix it up. So we're going to put in butter. I don't know if I want to use that much. You think we're going to take that bread out? I mean, it's I know fine, it, Chris. It's fine. I know it cuts off. I know. I do it all the time. It's fine. I didn't take out a lot, but a little. Let me get out the milk. And you can use your evaporated milk that you opened if you want to, to do your potatoes. And I don't You don't do have but one thing on there. Oh, and I don't do sour cream when I'm just doing chip beef and gravy. Okay. Like if I was, oh my goodness. Are they on the right side? I thought I had them on the right side. Nope. Um, when I make chip beef and gravy, of course, I don't make my cream potatoes with the salt, the pepper, the sour cream. milk to it. And if you want my cream potato recipe like I use to make regular cream potatoes, you can look online. Look it up. Google it. A little bit more milk. It's a little bit too dry. And then we'll make us a plate, y'all. Hope y'all like being in the kitchen. For real. For a change. Instead of edited video. It's a lot easier for us. Supper's done. Easy, breezy. I like the way the kids eat. It's easy to feed them. I'll show you how we eat it. I'm going to grab a piece of bread, Mr. Nichols. And you want your bread to be good and toasty like this. This bread is good and crunchy, and that's how you want it. See, it's toasted on the bottom and the top. And what we do is, we put the potatoes on top of the bread. See how pretty and whipped they look? I know y'all can't see good over here. I'd like to change my lighting a little bit. Let's see if I can do this. Since I'm plating. That's hard to see because it's... Chris hates for me to mess with anything like that, but... All right, here's shining. the green beans. Well, I'm going to move it for them. And then you pour it over the toast and the cream potatoes, just like that. Make sure you put plenty on there. Yummy. That 
is what they like, y'all. Just like that. What do y'all think? I can tell you right now. It's so good. It is so delicious. So easy. And they peeled the potatoes for me. I made a pie. I don't know how long we've been on here. How long we've been on here? 20, uh, I don't know how long. On the okay, we have no idea what happened. I should have already tried to hit resume and I didn't. But thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks, where we cook. Like Mama did. Sometimes. Sometimes YouTube goes out. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Mama you. never cooked with YouTube. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> white.